fact, seeing the British Empire, although we've never done it before. As you can tell, they were most of Africa, transcontinental, basically, in Africa. All of India, that's pretty good. But the only problem is I'd say they would be really unstable, because billions, billions, billions of people. Like, I think two or three billion, two hundred million, two hundred million. About two billion, thirty million, fifty million. As you can see, it's a big empire. And one of the first things they do is invade Indonesia because they need to connect their empire. Which many places don't like this idea. As East Timor is also forced into this war that they don't want. And with all of these troops, the manpower would be off the church. Like millions of manpower. Some very advanced equipment. Like they would be... Wealthy, well-off, everything. Now they can even expand into Indonesia. No problems occurred. Logistically, because they just sent like 20 billion million men in. Yes, these numbers are outlandish. And it's probably more like 5 billion man... 5 million man power. I hope it's not billion, because, I mean... They have everyone in the world on their team. As they now have those colonies connected... They now go ambitious and invade what's left of Arabia, the Arabian Peninsula. And people see this as an aggressive action, specifically the U.S., who's planning something, maybe with some friends. Who knows? But the nations are going to be interesting. As the invasion continues into Arabia and Yemen falls, basically they're just going to win this. Basically, that's what happens as they win. With a few nations, probably unexpected allies, teaming up. Well, I hope it's unexpected. And nations that see this threat, that are strong nations only, join. But there's Ethiopia. Let's see who joins the pact. Ethiopia, Iran, Turkey, China, told you unexpected, Russia, Japan, South Korea, Taiwan, Ukraine, Poland, Germany, France, Italy. Basically, everybody's teaming up against Britain. The USA, who's made this pact. Brazil, Vietnam, and Thailand. These two nations being left alone. With Africa having formed a pact known as the African Union League of Africa. With all the African nations joining when Britain decides to touch any. Except Ethiopia, because they have a different pack. But they don't realize. Maybe they can take out a few of the colonies, they say. As they consider Britain being outlandish and greedy. But, just saying, it did nothing. and It just did nothing and it failed to do its purpose. And so on, they quickly storm through the land. And this being seen as improbable and impossible. With them occupying most of Africa, if not all, soon. With them taking us, trying to get rid of supplies from the U.S. and allies. Although they managed to eventually succeed, it takes them a long time. To get the success that they wanted on the ground. And the success is very good. Like, it's so good, it's unimaginable. Also, keep in mind, this probably took years, years, and years. With Everett at this point, once they decide to annex it. Well, I'm going to use a different color just because, well, much easier than coloring it in. But at this point, everybody in this pack. Don't like their expansion. With this being quick, Everage just joins against them and declares war on Britain. With their North America and South America conquest starting to fail. As they end up, this happens. And with this, the whole world decides to join. Because it's basically them versus Britain, Everai realizes. As they see Britain as the biggest threat to all of their nations. They can't invade Britain in the north because they're too powerful. As with the help of Indian rebels. Yep, rebels in India. 
They quickly storm through the country. But nations like Indonesia are fast, but start slowing near Australia's resistance. With them managing to take back Arabia, the occupied states are starting to re-liberate themselves. And Europe is going after their conquest again. Imagine if they make a big transcontinental country. Not going to happen, but imagine if they did. With, a, with the fall of Egypt beginning, Britain's conquest is ending. And Britain, not wanting to end their empire, decides to destroy the world. With most of the non-British territory in Africa, all of it, being taken back. With Britain in a bad position. They go a step ahead of the world. They got a bunch of Zyra bombs. Yep, they got a bunch of Zyra bombs. Somehow. And they just basically go crazy. As they got somehow got millions of these. And they do. Yeah. They basically obliterate the world. Then the world obliterates them. Because they get these. And then the radiation spreads. Britain really was the one who lost, I guess. As this is basically what the radiation does. As it follows winds, I guess. And this is like... Where it's almost impossible to even survive. And as you can see, the radiation in huge amounts spreads the world. As you can see. But eventually it starts to die out. But the damage caused by this is still there. As ever is now radioactive, an invasion of Britain is launched. Because what's the point in drying anymore? With a nuclear winter beginning, and and let's see where the world starts being unlivable. Basically, it starts in Europe. This part of Siberia stays for now. But these are countries collapsing. Because, well, everything in the countries is gone. Everything, all the infrastructure, people. And that's why my videos don't like using these things. Nuclear bombs. And that's why they'll never show up again. As the world became desolate except the corner. And, well... That gives me an idea for a series to make. So yeah. Well, that's all that happens. Thank you for watching today's video. That's all for today's video. Wild Mapper out. But not until you subscribe. Bye, guys!